All right, some advice here on how to link Achieve into your Canvas course. So first of all, you're going to be given your Canvas course, and you will also have an Achieve course. The Achieve course will be pretty much a copy of the Chem 112 or the Chem 111 Nova Online Achieve course that I used over the summer. I kind of guinea pigged it. Um, if you've used Sapling before, it's fairly similar. It's a little more cumbersome to use. Um, I've set it up in two different sets of assignments. I have used what Achieve calls its, um, actually, I won't open that one. What Achieve calls its adaptive quizzes, I have turned into what I call homework. Um, the students seem to think, and I think I agree with them, that it is much better described as a homework set than it is a quiz set. So what you're going to have is a course. The due dates are going to be in. You can certainly adjust them. It will start out by the Achieve, how to use it, um, a practice assignment, actually how to use Achieve, but what it is in terms of the e-text and how the Macmillan site works. Um, this is in Chem 111. This is, is a math review in here. And then there's going to be a couple of things. There's going to be a quiz and there's going to be a homework. So if I go into the homework, which I would suggest your students do first, um, one, you cannot edit this. It is just a set of um, pre-done adaptive um, questions. And so it's going to tell you what the basic things are that it's going to cover. Um, and the students can um, bring up the activity and you can click on answers and they can look at it. And you go, oh, and they'll tell you what's wrong. You'll get a hint. You can go to the textbook. Anyways, that's the adaptive homework. The other set of assignments here that exist are going to be what I call quizzes, a quiz I have set up as a graded assignment where they lose 5% for each question they get that's wrong. And so instead, it's just kind of like a traditional set of sapling questions. So if you did these, um, they would walk you through pretty much an order of the textbook um, and doing the questions. So anyways, um, sapling kind of as you're used to it, click and drag, et cetera. So the sapling and the um, or the Achieve will be set up. So let's say you're looking at your fall course and you want to link the Achieve into your Canvas course so that the grades in particular show up, the due dates show up, etc. If you take and you go down, and the first thing you do is you would go into Settings. And once you go into Settings, you go into Navigation, and you go down here, and in here between kind of the McGraw Hill and this stuff, you're going to find the one that says Macmillan Learning. Make sure you drag it up so that you can see it in the course navigation tab on the left. And when you're done, you hit save. Once you've done that, and Macmillan Learning is optional, if you click on the Macmillan Learning tab, you can go down here and you can connect. Now, I've messed this up and unconnect is also an option. So anyway, so you're going to take and you're going to hit authenticate, just making sure it's you. You're going to authorize. Again, I'm Catherine Burton. It's going to make sure it's me. And then it's going to say, hey, which course do you want? I have lots. So I'm going to take and I'm going to do my fall course right here. And I'm picking my Dr. B's NOL fall course. You should just have hopefully one or two in um, your Achieve section. So it says, do you want to associate this? And I'm going to click yes. So once you have done that and it's paired, now you've got to actually load the content. So to load the content, you're going to, after you've linked Achieve into it, you're going to embed the content. So you're going to click on Macmillan content. Everything is set up in assignments, so you don't need to do the previous stuff. Just select all of the assignments. Um, once you've selected all of the assignments, and it's going to stop at the ones that I have adapted here, you're going to choose location. My advice would be to create a new module. So I'm going to um, create a new module, and I'm going to take, and I'm going to call it Achieve Homework. There you go, Achieve Online Homework. And I'm going to create a new model or module. So now I have the homework here, and I'm going to take, and I'm going to deploy it. So this is going to take and put all of these assignments into the Achieve Homework module within the Assignments tab. Now, once it's done with that, then we can take a look and we can do stuff with it because we want to make sure our assignments are created and in their own little um, section before we take and actually link anything. So if I'm just going to go back to Macmillan Learning and now I'm going to verify it's there. So I'm going to scroll down and find 
my assignments tab, which is here. And now I should have a group here, it's probably down at the bottom, that's going to say achieve, that's proctored assessments. All right, well, mine got wild and crazy when I asked you to do that, and it put it into my labs tab. So I'm not entirely certain why it did that, but nonetheless, that's okay, because I could rename this and fix it. So I had a module in here called, or a section in my assignments called labs, um, and I'm going to fix this here. So I'm just going to take and change the name of this. So I'm just going to edit this, and I'm going to call it achieve. assignments. Um, I'm going to take and achieve is going to be 20% of our grade. I'm not going to drop any scores. And so I've just fixed this. Okay, so I have an assignment or I have my assignments and I have the achieve stuff in here. Um, I'm going to make a quick um, note here before we continue. Um, what we do after we get our assignments is we go into our modules with a note on how these courses are set up. I've set them up so everything is linked as a module, as a function of exam. So, so for example, everything in chapters 10 and 11 in Chem 112 are content for exam one. And within that, I have all of the material. So it would be course material as we see it, as well as the assignments. And I'm gonna fix the assignments in a second. But before you do any of that, there is going to be an error in here, and that is if you go into proctored assessments, it's going to say complete all items. Please go ahead and click on those three dots, edit that, and make it complete one of these requirements. Otherwise, it does all sorts of nasty complications. So anyways, take and just do one. You can adjust it from there. Um, it'll fix many things. All right, with this, now we've got our assignments and all the achieve assignments are sitting there. Now we're going to link them into the content. So the actual assignments themselves are in what's the chapter assignment section. And here it says instructor, please co um, connect, do this and put your links in. So we're going to do that. So we're going to just delete that and we're going to set this up. So how to use achieve and the Macmillan site. So you're going to click or you're going to select that, you're going to go into course links. Now, because all of the assignments are set up um, from Achieve into the assignments tab, we're going to just go down until we get to what looks like how Achieve, the e-text, and the et cetera work, which is this guy, and I'm going to select that. Now, the nice part is that I can continue to do this, and this is how to use Achieve practice assignment. Um, from Achieve itself, I can come down here and do chapter 10, and I can scroll back up again, and I can just select and link all of these at once. So this one says chapter 10, and it's an adaptive homework, so I'm gonna click on this. Um, these tabs, these modules, or these assignments in, within the module need to be edited. This is no longer an adaptive quiz. I've changed how they're named. Please name it as adaptive homework much better off as a homework rather than a quiz and just call the other assignment that's labeled quiz a quiz and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to find chapter 10 quiz and I'm going to hook that one up adaptive homework adaptive homework liquids and solids I have no idea where I've lost that one too so I'm going to ignore that one for the moment all right with that this is my section on lab so just ignore that and at this point we have taken and save this and we have linked it into um, our achieve is linked into our canvas site as well as all of this is linked into the gradebook so for example if I click on this adaptive homework it's going to say open this in a new window that's how they're set up and if you go on to the assignment settings to make sure it makes good sense to you if you click down it's going to link here this is the one to um, the adaptive homework or the achieve assignment. I'm always loading them in a um, new tab. I have them in the achieve assignment group so they can keep track of what their grades are in this one. And the due date is already in there. So here, I'm just gonna save that. To make sure that they can see it or that it's visible, always check the calendar. So if I go over here and I click on the calendar and I make sure I've selected my class. So I want fall, one, one, two, 
Wheel 5A, which I think is this one. Fantastic. Scrolling down into September. Now I have some of my Macmillan stuff here. It's linked as in my assignments. I have everything due Sunday night at midnight, just my choice on that one. But they show up on their calendar. And then if you go back here and you look at their grade book and this, look at the students' grades, you will find that if you have taken and done this, they may not be published, but they are in now their um, the grade book. And so everything that we have here is going to be nice and cleanly linked. And if they take and do this, they can find it in their grade book, they can find it within the module, um, and they can take and keep track of it um, off of the calendar.